What's up everybody, welcome to Moani Management channel. My name is Andre and today I'm going to be doing analysis uh, on uh, quantum computing stocks. And on today's video guys, I will show you an update uh, on several most uh, active, most volatile uh, quantum computing stocks. Uh, and in this list uh, you can find RGTI, QBTS, IONQ and uh, QUBT stocks. And on today's video guys, I will show you the invalidation points uh, for certain price actions. And I will try to uh, explain you the psychology behind the scenes uh, that uh, drive uh, the price of this uh, assets. Uh, higher and higher. So, and before we dive deep into all of this, guys, please hit the like button for YouTube algorithm and drop me a line in the comment section if you think my videos are valuable for you. And let's start with the RGTI stock. Uh, I made my previous video, guys, take a look right here. This is the video that I made just two days ago on December 24th, basically three days ago, when the price of this asset uh, was uh, at uh, $10.79. And uh, my main breakdown was uh, that uh, we almost formed a five-wave structure. But here I uh, didn't uh, count uh, properly the uh, number of waves. We had to have five waves in it. And uh, that is why, guys, uh, my assumption was that if this asset breaks this previous, this previous swing high, it means uh, that we might hit uh, a higher target, but this target will not, uh, this next movement uh, should not be the highest. And guys, uh, take a look right here. We are up on pre-market hours by 10%. Uh, it is still moving higher. And uh, this uh, price action, guys, I have to admit that uh, from this bottom, potentially we formed only the first, uh, basically a couple of uh, first waves. And this is uh, the uh, triangle pattern that usually breaks to the upside and uh, guys it happened exactly to the tick and uh, this breakout happened with the conviction of volume this means guys on the short-term perspective uh, on today's session we might see a little bit of trend continuation but at the same time guys on an hourly time frame we are at extremely high level of rsi and don't get me wrong guys this type of highly extremely high volatile stocks are very dangerous uh, if you want to long these stocks let me show you uh, right here uh, wait a second here's uh, the uh, screenshot uh, of ai options many migrated to quantum stocks uh, daily call volume uh, traded as a share of average since may 24th of 2023 and uh, it is a comparison uh, of quantum computing stocks and nvidia call options guys uh, light uh, green color is the quantum computing stocks and uh, we have uh, four stocks that uh, i cover in my previous video and that i'm covering right now it is ionq rgti qbts and qubt and uh, since October of this year, as you can see, NVIDIA is still at quite low levels, but the movement, uh, the uh, uh, increasing number of uh, uh, call options on quantum computing stocks uh, went high for more than two and a half thousand percent, guys. And uh, this is definitely extremely dangerous for retail investors who want to uh, uh, use this uh, hype uh, in order to benefit out of its movement but guys take a look right here uh, how the major analytic firms and how uh, major investment firms uh, work in terms of this uh, type of uh, highly volatile stocks guys they are awaiting for the forming of first five waves and if fundamentals of a certain company are extremely promising this means they can re-enter their position on the retracement and they will catch the next movement to the upside because uh, let me show you some uh, theory let me give you some uh, alert wave theory uh, we have uh, we have to have five waves uh, in a motive wave to the upside then we have to have uh, as a simple retracement uh, three waves to the downside and guys, this is the natural cycle of uh, the of any stock, basically. And uh, this is the point, uh, the bottom of the C wave is the perfect uh, point where you can accumulate your position. Because uh, on the grand scheme of things, we have another uh, one, two, and uh, the most uh, powerful wave is definitely the third wave. And this means, guys, on a bigger scale, we might have uh, this movement. Uh, let me show you like this. Uh, this movement is only the first wave. 
this is the second and the next will be the third wave and we have even uh, another couple of waves to complete its uh, movements that is why guys a lot of uh, investing and uh, investment firms want to benefit out of this price action of the most powerful wave and that is why guys they are not entering their position somewhere at the first wave of its impulsive movements they wait for the retracement because uh, they can evaluate uh, their performance on top of that they can uh, take a look uh, at uh, its uh, fundamentals more thoroughly and then they can uh, project uh, some price targets based on its uh, previous price action that is why guys uh, uh, what uh, do i suggest to you let me uh, switch to daily time frame First of all, let me show you like this. Let me turn on the tools uh, and let me show you it in details. So, as you can see, we have uh, the breakout above its previous swing high, but the bearish divergence is still here. We uh, might uh, break this previous swing high. At the same time, guys, I don't uh, think that we might break this previous swing high. And this means on a bigger scale, we still have uh, this uh, bearish divergence on the table. On top of that, guys, the sign that uh, shows that uh, this asset is uh, quite uh, manipulative by the hype is the choppy, choppy MACD indicator. As you can see, it tried to uh, have a cooldown for several times, but then again, uh, we have a couple of spikes to the upside that shows that the momentum is still quite substantial. On top of that, if I switch to weekly time frame, guys, we have an RSI at extremely high level. Right here, you can see that it is at 97.34 points. This means uh, we have to have a cooldown, but definitely this cooldown will not happen uh, overnight and uh, it is a weekly time frame. This means uh, we might see the trend continuation for at least several days and guys what sign uh, will be crucial for this asset uh, that will show you that uh, potentially we are done uh, and this asset uh, has uh, to have a turnover let me switch to hourly time frame and let me show you its uh, uh, most recent uh, movement in details guys take a look right here from this bottom from six dollars mark uh, we potentially have uh, uh, well if I project uh, this line a little bit longer, you can see that uh, we we are breaking this uh, range to the upside, but this might be nothing else uh, but the bull trap and uh, eventually this asset uh, might uh, go to the lower ranges. On top of that, guys, if I connect uh, these two bottoms, you can see that uh, we are forming with the fifth wave, uh, potentially we are forming ending fifth wave diagonal. And uh, this uh, wave, uh, this uh, last wave uh, might look like this. We have the first, the most powerful wave, then we have a retracement, then uh, next uh, impulsive wave, uh, second, third one, then again retracement, and the last one might be right here, and eventually it will break to the downside. And guys, you can, uh, uh, you can draw these two lines uh, as I drew, and uh, if uh, this asset uh, will continue its movement to the upside, uh, uh, you can project uh, its uh, range of resistance and uh, when it breaks uh, the lowest uh, range of support this range of support at this point guys it is the pure sign that this asset will have a major retracement well, let me show you that potentially it will be uh, at this point and this means guys uh, this is the point where you can leave your position but at the same time guys be extremely cautious uh, we might have uh, several extensions uh, in the fifth wave and uh, this uh, uh, this uh, breakout happens uh, extremely fast that is why guys be cautious and let's take a look at another another stock and it is uh, qubt quantum computing so let me show you that on uh, my previous video I uh, showed you uh, this uh, breakdown and uh, uh, it was a quite a decent setup from 18.19 dollars uh, we had uh, about 213 percent to the major price target and guys take a look right here we are still here this was the point uh, where I told you to accumulate your position uh, incrementally to the downside and so far uh, you might be up from the lowest point uh, to the current price uh, by about 22 percent 
percent and this means guys if you entered your position right here you can put your stop loss on a green territory this means you will you will protect your capital and at the same time guys uh, we still have for this chance to hit higher targets because this asset is quite different than any other assets of quantum computing stocks first of all guys we don't have a bearish divergence on our rsi we don't have bearish divergence on two hours rsi three hours rsi and four hours rsi are also in neutral territory on top of that guys uh, macd indicator from the negative uh, from the negative zone is trying to tick to the upside and when the first uh, uh, the first bar ticks to the upside it will be a good sign for uh, price section to uh, make its next major uh, movement to the upside on top of that guys we don't have uh, bearish divergence uh, on a daily time frame we only have uh, quite high level of RSI with the bearish divergence right here on a weekly time frame this means guys I think we have uh, several uh, several more days uh, to uh, see its movement to the upside that potentially might retest uh, its previous swing high let me show you on four hours time frame that potentially might retest uh, 27.99 dollars and from our entry price uh, it might uh, be wait a second up to 74% uh, of upside potential and if it breaks let me show you in details uh, right here if it breaks uh, this previous swing high the major price target will be at 48.19 dollars and it might be the top of our next wave for uh, extension in the fifth wave and this is uh, the perfect uh, example of uh, the power of technical analysis and guys if you want to know more about technical analysis if you want to enhance your trading skills feel free to subscribe to my youtube channel and to join my patreon account where for the 35 dollars a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills on top of that guys for now there is not so many people inside the discord group that is why almost 100 percent of my time will be dedicated to you and uh, this means uh, but Potentially, if uh, a lot of people want to see uh, more detailed analysis uh, on uh, quantum computing stocks, so be it. I will do it easily. Just uh, join my Patreon and see you there. So, let's take a look at another stock. And uh, this time uh, it will be IONQ. And here we have a quite interesting uh, setup as well. I told you in my previous video that uh, uh, the most uh, uh, the uh, most recent uh, wave doesn't have proper subdivision on hourly time frame. Let me show you right here. On hourly time frame, I told you that uh, the top of our internal fifth wave might be higher. And guys, it happens. As you can see, we were somewhere at this point. Wait a second, I will show you in details. Uh, well, it is not this one. We were at 41.32 dollars and for now we are at 48.24 uh, dollars. We are a little bit down uh, on today's session and I told you that uh, the top of our fifth wave will not hit so much, uh, will not hit higher targets. Uh, it will not be an extension in the fifth wave because uh, on the grand scheme of things, guys, we also had uh, some bearish signs. Uh, wait a second, I will show you in details. Uh, uh, right here we had a set of bearish divergences if I switch to daily time frame we had set of bearish divergences all across the board we had consistently higher highs on the price section with the lower highs on our side guys eventually this pattern should be broken and uh, the breakout of this pattern is also crystal clear guys we have uh, our fifth wave that uh, started uh, back in uh, uh, December 11th right after uh, Google all right after alphabet announced its uh, breakthrough in quantum computing uh, uh, researches and this uh, last wave is also guys uh, ending fifth wave diagonal let me show you let's say on two hours time frame what pattern do we have right here if i connect wait a second i will show you in details like this if i connect uh, this two tops three tops basically and uh, these several bottoms we we can clearly see guys uh, the same pattern and uh, eventually it should break to the downside and this range of support that I drew by connecting these two bottoms uh, is the crucial range if uh, it breaks uh, wait a second if and when it breaks guys I have no doubt that it will break it if it breaks uh, this range of uh, uh, support this means uh, this point will be a huge uh, huge uh, increase in volume 
and uh, the price action will uh, definitely lead to much lower ranges and uh, this uh, movement will be extremely fast be cautious with your position with your long position uh, uh, on uh, I, O and Q because in the medium term perspective guys this asset uh, will definitely hit lower target and it will break its previous uh, range of support so and for now let's take a look at the uh, last at the fourth uh, ticker symbol it is a QBTS D-Wave quantum computing and uh, here guys uh, I take a look right here I showed you that potentially we might have uh, another leg to the downside that will form ABC correction but I was wrong and uh, no one is perfect uh, but uh, let me show you where uh, I made a mistake guys uh, you know and I showed you this just a couple of minutes ago that uh, right after five weeks uh, formed we have to have a simple zigzag uh, to the downside ABC correction but uh, we have uh, uh, we uh, usually have uh, this type of dilemma we might have uh, the first ABC at extremely tiny scale and this means, uh, guys, uh, A wave might have three or five waves in it. And I thought that uh, this was only the first wave on a bigger scale. And we have to have another, another movement to the upside uh, somewhere here, and then another leg to the downside. At the same time, guys, we still might have uh, this ABC correction on the table because uh, B wave uh, might have an extension that will break even this previous swing high. And uh, to be honest, uh, uh, B wave should have three wave structure on it. And I don't see an impulsive five waves movement right here. That is why this setup is still on the table and guys uh, this is another asset that I don't suggest you to buy at this very point because uh, take a look right here let's say on four hours time frame we have uh, we have the beginning of uh, bearish divergence we have lower highs on our side with the higher highs on the price action uh, daily time frame daily time frame is uh, is an exception guys and uh, that is why i told you that potentially right after this uh, c wave c wave is formed we might have another leg to the upside that potentially will form for the first time uh, uh, bearish divergence on a daily rsi but at the same time guys weekly rsi is again at extremely high levels at uh, you can see it right here at 94.88 points and this means uh, we might have a cool down in upcoming sessions don't get me wrong guys these assets uh, uh, might be quite uh, lucrative in the long-term perspective but believe me you have to wait uh, wait a second i will show you you have to wait uh, this uh, type of uh, retracement uh, you have to wait this type of retracement and uh, at the c point uh, you can accumulate uh, your position with an attempt to catch its next major mov movement that will be much higher and that should be much higher than this initial movement to the upside so i think that's all information that i want to provide you if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell and see you guys and girls next time bye i got the cash in the bag stadium pack born a rock star in this life gone live it up on the attack baby i'm bad i just want to get caught up in this life i'm crazy i'm bad doing no cap only god wants you